In this video, I am going to show you how to convert a Microsoft Word equation into a LaTeX equation. So I have Word open and I also have a LaTeX editor open on my computer and I have started writing a LaTeX program which has only few lines of code and this is the minimum amount of code required to write maths in a LaTeX document. And LaTeX is a document preparation system used by university students, most of PhD students they write their thesis in LaTeX. But when they join university, there is a large number of students who are unfamiliar with LaTeX. And because Word is a default word processor for most of us and writing maths in LaTeX has some learning curve. So therefore, one of my subscribers asked me that is there a way to convert Word equations into a LaTeX equation? So is there a way to get a LaTeX code from Microsoft Word? And yes, there is. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to students and teachers. So if you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. So what I will do is I will put a mathematical expression here and because I am assuming that you know how to write a word equation. So what I will do is I will click on insert and I will click on equation and I will pick any equation, let's say this one. And now I want to get a LaTeX code of this equation which I will put here because as you can see that this LaTeX document contains a very simple equation x equals 0 and this is the PDF of this document. So I will delete this and I will put the code of this word equation and then I will compile and the result should be the same. So this is the objective. So how to do that? So in order to get this LaTeX code, we have to install a snipping tool and that tool is called MathPix and MathPix snipping tool is here. Just type in Google MathPix and you will reach here. Click on that and select your operating system. Mine is Windows, so I click on Windows and you will get this executable file just like me. You save it on desktop, you click on that and MathPix will be installed on your computer. Because I have installed already, so I cancel this. So once I have installed it, I click on lower right corner of my desktop and this is MathPix snipping tool. So when you click on MathPix icon, you will get this screen. In this free tool, you can get 50 snips per month and if you are a student and you have your university email you can get 100. So these are more than enough for general use because once you get the equation and there are similar equations you know how to modify the equation and so on. And now I click on this icon and now I have this cross here. So what I do is I select this equation in my word document just like that and immediately it will capture the equation and now this is the equation you can double check that there is no mistake and then we have latex code available here and as you can see that i have various forms of this latex code available because in latex you can write maths in various forms because i have written this begin equation and end equation and if you look here you have this begin equation and end equation but I need only the code, not this begin and end statement. So I copy this first part, which is only the code for this equation. So I click on that and it shows me copied. And now I can open my LaTeX editor and I delete this and I paste my code here, simply control V. And now I have to compile the document. So I click here and the document has been compiled successfully. There is no error. And now I have to generate new PDF. This is the old PDF. So to do that, I click on this arrow. And as you can see that exactly the same equation has been generated. Now in this equation, there was a cursor here. And this is not what I want to include in the equation. So one way is to remove the cursor and use the snipping tool again. But what I want to show you is look here and you will see that in this code, this last bit is for this 
what I can do is I can remove this last bit from my code. I can recompile and I can generate my PDF once again and this time that cursor has been removed. The way sniffing tool works is that it takes the picture and it converts that picture into LaTeX code. So whatever is in the picture, it will try to convert it into an approximate character in LaTeX language. So what it means is that if you have any PDF and you have this equation written on a PDF, you can even then take a picture and get the LaTeX code that I have already explained in another video. So I will put the link of the video at the end of this video, which you can watch where I show you how to convert any equation in a PDF document to an editable equation in Word because this snipping tool also gives you a Word copy. So if I click on this and paste it again in my Word document, I get the same editable equation. So you can convert any equation in a PDF document or even the picture of an equation into an editable word equation and you can delete this in this equation as well. So in this way you can convert any picture of an equation in a PDF document to an editable word equation or you can get a LaTeX code and put in a LaTeX document and compile it. So MathPix is a very useful snipping tool for students. So I hope that you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you share this video with your colleagues because that will help this video reach more students and it will help me grow my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.